the Cobras got a chance to back up Buddy Guy a lot. I mean, Buddy, we played with him a couple of times, and Buddy Guy got used to us and knew that we could play his stuff. And so we got a chance to uh, back up Buddy Guy, you know, half a dozen times at Antone's. And then um, I hate to go off on a tangent, but, of course, Buddy says, well, next time you're in Chicago, uh, give me a call. You need to come out to my club called the Checkerboard and play, you know. So we were still traveling coast to coast, and we happened to be up in Chicago playing uh, either Wise Fools or Kingston Mine or something like that and uh, had a Monday night off. And so I call up Buddy Guy say, well, we we got a night off. He says, well, yeah, come on down. I got Lefty Diz will be playing tonight. Of course, I'll be playing. And so we were at that time, we were traveling in a great big, it wasn't really even really a, a van. It was, we, th- we called it a potato chip truck because it's just a big square box made by Gruen. But anyway, it held, held the whole band in the front, and then we had big doors in the back for all the equipment. So he gives us directions, and we started heading, heading over the south side of Chicago. And the closer we get, I'm going, man, this probably is not a good idea. I mean, we just got to where it looked like a war zone. It was, you know, boarded up buildings, no street lights. And, and then you finally found, finally about, you know, three or four blocks down, we see this place lit up and it's Buddy Guy's place. And of course you pull up there and there's no white people <laughs> at all. And uh, luckily we had Junior Medlow, our black singer. I said, Medlow, go find Buddy. <laughs> I don't think we should just go all walking in there. So he went in and found Buddy and then Buddy comes out, embraces us all. So then we're okay, you know. And we were getting some really terrible looks for a while from just, you know, a bunch of white guys pulling up in front of the checkerboard. And so uh, I don't know if there's, a, there's a, actually a a live video out uh, of the Rolling Stones playing at the checkerboard uh, with, uh, I think, Muddy Waters was there. I think James Cotton was playing harmonica. Uh, but it was a famous blues club. It just wasn't really where white people went and hung out. But-